Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to attempt to show you a few things in Maximus Arcade that you may have not seen in other YouTube videos. Uh, and I am going to be talking pretty quickly here because I have a lot to cover and I only have 10 minutes to cover it. And I don't want to make this a two-part video. Uh, first off I'm going to be mentioning some unsupported emulators such as the Nintendo Wii, GameCube, and Nintendo DS as well. I'll mention some of my interesting batch files and other features in MA that aren't commonly discussed in other YouTube videos. There will be no gameplay in these videos because gameplay is completely pointless, but I assure you all this stuff does work. If you're wondering how I set up some of these emulators, mainly the Nintendo emulators, please check my info tab for links on how to do this stuff. Uh, if you're wondering, I'm not using a MAME arcade machine, I'm just using a PC with a big screen TV. Um, for my game controller, I'm using a Logitech Cordless Rumble Pad 2, which basically looks like a PlayStation 2 controller, which I find is just a great all-around game controller to, uh, to use various different uh, video game systems and different types of games. Uh, for emulators that are do not support uh, controller mapping, I am using Xpatter to map the controls. Holy, I'm running out of breath here. Alright, so to start off, we're going to go with the Nintendo emulators. Nintendo Wii. And it is also my Nintendo GameCube, because both run through the Dolphin emulator. Um, and I don't have enough games to really warrant separating them into two separate emulators. I may do that in the future if I get more. Okay, next. Sinclair. Now, uh, that's really not the Sinclair. Remember, these are unsupported emulators, so I'm using emulators that I don't actually use. So Sinclair is really the Nintendo DS. Okay. If you're wondering how to get these emulators set up, please check out uh, my the link in my description uh, to sh uh, Shattered Soul. Uh, Shattered Soul, he's done a lot for the... Uh, for the Maximus Arcade community, um, he set up he he's got some great tutorials on how to set up the Nintendo Wii, GameCube, and DS, and he's got some other wicked awesome stuff on his uh, blog. Not in, not everything is Maximus Arcade related, but I'm sure uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys will find some very interesting things there, such as how to uh, properly configure EMS Top Gun Top Gun Light Gun. EMS2. Um, actually, we were uh, Shattered Soul and I were discussing that, and I'm also going to um, make a video here pretty soon on how to set up the EMS in Windows 7 x64 because the drivers are unsupported in Windows 7. So um, keep an eye on my channel and if you have one and you're wondering how to get that working. Okay, next we are moving to batch files. Um, Basically, these right here are just Windows shortcuts to uh, Windows folders, so I can look at my music videos and my listen to all my music very easily and what have you. Uh, and a karaoke player because I do like my karaoke. Video, same thing. Folders to uh, you know my 200 different TV series, my movies, etc., etc. PC, uh, basically just PC games, Knight Rider. Uh, Steam is in there for another wealth of video games. Uh, Windows Media Center, pretty handy to have. And uh, Guitar Hero, which actually isn't Guitar Hero, it's actually Frets on Fire. If you don't know what Frets on Fire is and you like Guitar Hero and Rock Band, uh, please check it out on YouTube. Uh, basically, it's a PC equivalent of those uh, two game systems. You can skin, them up, skin out the program to look like either or program. And you can download all the MP3s for free. Of course, it's piracy. You know that, right? But uh, you know you can get all the games for free very easily. And the good thing about uh, the PC version is Frets on Fire is that when you're listening to the music, um, you know, in like Guitar Hero, sometimes you would hear uh, a song that's actually a cover version. It's not really the real version of the song. Well, the good thing about Frets on Fire is. Nine times out of ten, you're going to hear the real version of the song, so it's a lot more fun to play. Um, yeah, if you have your Xbox uh, guitar, or if you have a uh, Explorer by Red Octane, it works great with that uh, program. 
Okay, now my American Laser games like Crime Patrol, Crime, P Crime Con Patrol, and Drug Wars, etc., etc. Um, for those of you guys who have tried to set this up in MA and you're kind of ticked off at the fact that it doesn't automatically launch into full screen when you launch it through MA, uh, check my video desc my my description and you will find links to a tutorial that I've written that will force these into uh, full screen when launched using a program called Auto Hotkey. Um, also, I uh, have a tutorial um, on YouTube. I just made it tonight, actually, on how to fully maximize the Handy emulator for the Atari Lynx. So if you're wondering how to get that to maximize an MA, check out my video. It also uses Auto Hotkey. Very handy program. And uh, yes, I have a link to Firefox as well if I want to surf Firefox. Okay, next I'm going to quickly mention my MP3 jukebox. Um, my MP3 jukebox is uh, a program called Album Player. And if you have yourself a touchscreen TV or monitor, get yourself Album Player because Album Player does interface with a uh, touchscreen. Uh, Windows Media Player, just quickly mention, uh, I just threw in all the angry video game nerd videos in there because it just seems to make sense on a gaming system. Okay, switching over to MAME, and I know you guys have seen a lot of MAME stuff on these videos, but I just quickly wanted to mention MAME anyways. If you're wondering where to get the MAME videos um, for free, go to emmymovies.com. Uh, a lot of people think that you need an account there and you need to pay money to actually download all these videos. That is not true. If you are a torrent user, uh, they do have torrents on that site. Uh, there's two of them for uh, for main videos. One's in AVI and one's in FLV formats. Uh, both run at about 17, 18 gigabytes worth of uh, main videos. So basically, all the main videos you could ever want, and you can download them for free with torrents. Very nice. Okay, another thing I wanted to mention in main that people don't often mention is um, you can bring up information on each game, like bio, technical information, trivia, staff sources, updates, um, you can also see uh, different ports of a game. For example, in Revolution X, it's been ported to uh, PlayStation, Sega Saturn, PC, etc, etc. So you can find out other systems that you can play this game on. Uh, tips, you know, actual game controls, how to play a game. Very handy information that's in MA. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is the actual favorite shortcuts. Definitely want to set those up for uh, your game systems where you have tons of games, you know. Okay, next I'm going to mention uh, ambience and sound effects. Uh, I, found these, I found these MP3s online somewhere. I can't remember where, sorry guys, but uh, basically this guy went into an arcade with a microphone and recorded sounds for an hour long, and so there's no looping, it all sounds very realistic, and he's got three or four different MP3s, like one sounds like 70s arcades, 80s arcades, and 90s arcades, and um, it's just a nice way of polishing off your system, and I'll let you hear a little bit of that right now, and give my voice a little rest. So that's pretty cool. Another thing in MA that people often mention is MA can actually um, say the name of each game and you scroll over it. Golden Axe. Golden Axe. Art Titan. Art Titan. Gold so that's pretty cool too. Um, anyways, I think I'm pretty much done with this video. I think I'm out of time, but please check out Shattered Soul. Check out his blog. Check out his videos. He's done a lot for the uh, the community. And uh, check out my videos too. I'm I'm gonna try and add a few this week. Uh, a lot of them pertaining to uh, to gaming and Maximus Arcade. All right. Uh, please rate and comment. Ask me questions if you need. And thank you very much. Have a good.